Welcome back again, Reds. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag said the onus is on Jadon Sancho to do what is required to facilitate his return to the club's first-team squad. Sancho, 23, has been training away from the first team after claims he was made a scapegoat following his omission for September's defeat at Arsenal. Ten Hag said at the time he had been excluded because his training performances were below standard. He knows what he has to do. It is up to him, Ten Hag said. Ten Hag said Sancho, who joined United from Bundesliga side Borussia Dortmund for 73 in July 2021, must buy into the ethos he has created at the club. The Dutchman has been determined to improve discipline at United since his arrival in Old Trafford 18 months ago. When asked at news conference if Sancho's time was up amid talk of a move away in January, Ten Hag said, What will happen there? He knows what he has to do. If he wants to return it is up to him. It is about a culture, and every player has to match certain standards, and it was about that. United said in a statement in September that Sancho would be on a personal training program away from the first team. The statement added that the decision was made pending resolution of a squad discipline issue. Last season, Sancho spent three months battling physical and mental issues, with Ten Hag at one point saying the England international was not fit enough to play. Sancho has scored 12 goals in 82 appearances for United, but has not featured since the 3-2 home win over Nottingham Forest on 26 August. On the other side, Casemiro has started training on the pitch as the Brazilian steps up his recovery for Manchester United. The 31-year-old has not featured for the Reds since October, having sustained an ankle injury while on international duty. On Sunday, the midfielder was spotted training alone on the grass at Carrington, while his teammates took part in a recovery session. It will be welcome news for Eric Ten Hag, who has seen Johnny Evans and Luke Shaw return to fitness in recent weeks, again and again. Jamie Redknapp has slammed Eric Ten Hag for not being able to get a tune out of his side, despite spending over 400 millions of pounds. He said on Sky Sports, he's only spent 100 millions of pounds, it's difficult for him. I'm running out of things to say, I genuinely don't know what to think about Manchester United anymore. When I look at the performance, how can they go from getting manager of the month, player of the month, and goal of the month, and then lose to Bournemouth 3-0? That cannot happen. That cannot happen when you're Manchester United, playing in front of those fans. There are so many different factors. I get the off-field issues, I get that the owners aren't right, but when it comes down to it, when you've spent that much money, that team should have enough to produce a performance and get a win against Bournemouth. It's a complete mess. Meanwhile, Phil Neville has defended Bruno Fernandes in the wake of his personality being questioned. Neville told NBC, I think that's ridiculous talk. Hoover said that in public is a disgrace. If you look at Bruno Fernandes, I love Bruno Fernandes. He cares about Manchester United. Look at the teams in the top six. That's the one player I'd take. Look at the one player who comes out after a defeat. It's Bruno Fernandes. Captains over the years have played like Bruno Fernandes. Roy Keane whinged and whined like Bruno Fernandes. In this team, he's the best player. He plays right wing, center midfield, and he just gets on with it because he cares about the club. On the other side, Thomas Tuchel sees many similarities between Bayern Munich and Manchester United. When asked if the two titans of European football are like wounded beasts at present, he replied, Yeah, true. I analyze them. I see a lot of individual quality, and I also see many, many good things. But it can happen like they seem completely in the driver's seat, like in Istanbul, and some minutes are enough to shake the whole thing up. I see a bit of the ups and downs like we had over the last month. We got a bit more stable, but I see the same kind of vulnerability in both teams. Things can happen. For instance, we were 2-0 down in Leipzig, we struggled a lot. In the first half against Galatasaray, and it needed a lot of luck to escape without going behind like today. So I have the feeling that there is a bit of a similarity, looking for a level of stability that is not 100% there yet. And for us, unfortunately, like today, we are not 100% there. I am pretty sure we will show a reaction elsewhere. Eric Ten Hag has been warned Harry Kane aims to heap on the misery and deliver a Champions League KO. Bayern boss Thomas Tuchel claims ex-Spurs striker. Kane is desperate to plunge Manchester United deeper into crisis. Tuchel said, 
Yes, for him 100%. He is a winner. He is a champion. It's nice to go back to England and to Old Trafford. Harry will love it, I think, and is looking forward to it. Harry is a top pro and a fantastic guy who has adjusted very well to life in Germany, again and again. Bruno Fernandes has called for Manchester United to be more consistent. The Red Devils fell to a shock 3-0 defeat at home to Bournemouth on Saturday. Speaking to Match of the Day after the loss, Fernandes explained, We did many things wrong today. Bournemouth deserved the win today. They were more intense than us, more eager than us. We should have performed better. We should expect the intensity of the game. We are not consistent enough. If you want to be in the top spots, you have to do it every three days. It is about understanding. We need our level every game. If you drop your levels a little bit, you get punished. Meanwhile, Dalot accused of lack of respect. Ian Wright has slammed Diogo Dalot for showing Rasmus Hoyland a lack of respect in Manchester United's loss to Bournemouth. Delote opted to shoot after racing forward during the 3-0 defeat, despite Hoyland being unmarked in the middle of the box. The Danish striker was visibly angry with his teammate, and Wright understands his frustration. Speaking on Match of the Day, he explained, When I saw it was Delot at 1-0, Hoyland had just come on, and he wants these chances. It's good play, he Delote gets in, and he's got to square it. I think that's a total lack of respect for him, Hojland. He doesn't even acknowledge him. He's had a shot from the most ridiculous angle. He's upset with himself, but he doesn't even look for Hojland. It was a ridiculous shot, and Bournemouth scored a minute later. Hojland has got to be pulling him up in the dressing room and saying, come on. Meanwhile, Bayern Munich manager Thomas Tuchel has sent a warning ahead of Tuesday's Champions League clash with Manchester United. The ex-Chelsea boss has demanded a reaction from his team after their 5-1 loss to Frankfurt on Saturday. After the match, he said, Things go quickly. For us on Tuesday, it's about showing a reaction. That's our focus now. Now it's time to regenerate for two days and show a different face on Tuesday and gain self-confidence. United must beat Bayern to have any chance of reaching the Champions League last 16. So, United boost ahead of Bayern clash. Bayern Munich have suffered an injury blow ahead of their trip to Old Trafford on Tuesday. The German champions face Manchester United in their final Champions League group match, with the Red Devils needing to win to have any chance of progressing. In a boost to United though, Bayern will be without winger Serge Gnabry for the match. The former Arsenal man has been ruled out after suffering a groin strain in his side's 5-1 loss at Frankfurt on Saturday. Again and again. Calvin Phillips is at the top of Manchester United's summer shopping list, Sunsport can exclusively reveal.